warmth at last. Whew. It's a good haul. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon. What with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Oh. Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's further in this cave with Kasane. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. <laughs> Really now? Was it frog-like? Cause I love me some frog legs. I kill them and eat them. Actually, I sorry. Correction. Let's be out here here. I kill them and a strange goblin bokoblin man eats them for me. Hold on. Okay, I tried to glide at the last second. Um, I'm glad I didn't die from that. Uh, okay, where is my... I'm not gonna use that. Is there a boulder in here? Preferably one. Very close by. Ow. I got it. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay, so where is this? Lizard. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that is uh, not how I expected that to go down. Uh, yeah, let's burn all of this away. I almost asked one of the stupidest questions of my life. How on earth did the birds get through this cave? They flew. They flew, pal. Wait, where are they? I, I thought they'd be through here. Where did they go? Is there a path I'm missing? It's not that way. Did I take a wrong turn? This is the way. It's the only way. So where? <laughs> where did they go? Gone up here. Oh, I haven't gone up here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, you are... An evil man. Let's do what I said I was gonna do. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Uh, switch over to probably that. There we go. Shock him, shock him. Just keep CCing him. There you go. Gonna recharge. And while it thinks about doing that, I'm gonna use one of my wands, because I have wands. And then I'm gonna... Oh, I have a sword. I should probably use that. Let's freeze him. And then let's... Shock him. And then drown him in an inch of water. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm all about. Link. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? <laughs> you appear to have had um, a conniption, I believe it's called. This way. Fire stuff up above. Okay, so let's clearly want me to use this. I don't know why I used two, but it doesn't matter. It is literal garbage. Uh, boom. You did not create enough draft. Uh, so I guess I'll just climb. I feel like they're they're showing me the verticality of this cave to demonstrate something to me about Tulin's abilities. That once he follows us, which I really wonder if he will replace our spirit or not. If once he follows us, we will have the ability to traverse such obstacles with ease. It feels like that's kind of being hammered into me right now. It's like, look at all the uses all these situations that are really awkward, even with a lot of stamina. That Tulin. What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh, oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? You're here to talk to Tulin? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in the area, but we saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. 
I told the others that we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest, and flew off alone before I could protest. What kind of creatures are they? Are they just the birds with one hit point? If you leave that cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That is where I saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. I, I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. I, I will kill... I believe I will die now to your electricity. It's not that Tulin is untalented, far from it. Everyone admires his ability to generate his own gusts. No one else in the village can do anything like it. The problem is he knows he's talented, and it makes him headstrong and prone to acting rashly. His youth doesn't help at all. But I shouldn't be standing around taking, talking to passing travelers like this. I need to report this to Hearth so we can discuss what to do about it. If you're going after Tulin, you'll want to head into that cave. Please do not kill him, you lone, <laughs> lone traveler who could be a member of the Yiga. You, I think you'll find him near the Lone Cedar on Toronto Peak. It's visible to the north after you leave the cave. I hope he's not up to anything reckless. I loved life while it lasted, but now I'm about to die to a spirit of a woman. <laughs> I almost said a, a tall woman, but then I realized that Riju is not tall for some reason unknown. I, I don't understand why, but then again, I don't understand why Link is so short. I does not, does not make sense in this game. This is insane. How did you manage to overcome gravity once again? Have a red rupee and more. Oh my word. <laughs> I ought, I might not. I might like this guy less than the Koroks. Uh, <laughs> just uh, I assume the rewards are worth it though, so which is why I keep doing it. I assume that there's at some point where I'll talk to Hudson. And he's like, oh, do you help my, my. The son, he, you know, he tries. He's not that good at anything, but you know, he's, he's my, my son. Where on earth am I going? Where did I come out of this cave? Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, Lone Cedar, Lone Cedar, up there, up there, up there. Keep with the plot, pal. Keep with the plot. Keep with the plot. Headed up there. Giant Thunderhead ahead, which again is very reminiscent. Kind of reminiscent of Okami no Okami Den, I guess. Sup? I really don't care about you. I kind of wish we could coexist. It looks like your your stuff kind of stinks. I'm just here to grab fruit. Yeah, their stuff is awful. I'm, I don't. I'm not gonna touch that. Really, this is the thing befelling the Rito, the proud Rito people. Birds with one hit point. That's the problem. Oh, I guess snow as well, but the birds? I would think that any Rito worth their salt, even the children could outperform these things. Just stand still with a shield. A shield with a literal spike on it. You don't even have to have timing or shield bash. Just stand there. Like what? These are the problem? There has to be like a big one, like a big scary one. Or a Korok scene. You know, the important things, like I'm gonna climb this thing. Tulin's like, what are you doing? Why 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 are you climbing a tree? That's not helpful to anyone's cause. Like, um You you were cool when I was a kid, but um now I just kinda realize you're just obsessed with these these like doing random things. Since I can't see what you're doing. I what are on earth? The thing Running? <laughs> what? Koopa the Quick, hello? Sup? Stupid monster. What? Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See? That's the bow napper. I gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a gust of wind whenever I feel like? I'll do it for you too. That way you can glide over there to where that monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. I still have Riju. Uh. What? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Press A. 
and I get a burst of wind. All right, I could probably use it in the air too. All right, that seems useful. Hi, you know what, Tulin? Allow, allow me to demonstrate. Hey, bird. Come here, bird. Bird. Bird? Aren't you supposed to be like a menace? Hello? Bird. What is he doing? Isn't he what? Hey. Forget it. <laughs> That's all I had to do? <laughs> what? <laughs> The bird wasn't even doing anything. It was minding his own business. Thought you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh oh, more one hit point birds. Whatever shall I do? There's more of them. What is okay? Okay, okay, okay. I'm fine for reenacting re a little bit of a a little bit of Dragon Roost Cavern. I'm totally down with that. All right, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Die. Ow. Okay, yeah, I should probably eat food since I was a little bit low. Uh, yes. I'm, I should not be using this weapon. Uh, use my reach weapon. Oh, pfft. Okay. All right. Look at look at my. I have a posse now. I have a I have a team, an elite crack squad of fighters, which is consists of a child, and an actual warrior. To be fair, not to, not to discredit Riju, she's actually kind of legit. We did it. Hey, look. I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Hmm? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oi! Hey, Tulin, Link! Huh? Oh. Is that a Hylian riding a Oh no, it's just a <laughs> it's just a Rito. Rito with a spear. Oh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. <laughs> oh, you saw that hearth? Talk about embarrassing. Didn't listen when Gasani told, tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. I bet you can see now why we're treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Uh, did I have a voice for Gasane? I don't... Oh, yeah. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh, yeah. Fun, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because she zoomed up above that cloud. Huh? <clears throat> what? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How could that be? Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the, get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh, but I thought I wasn't allowed. Ah. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing the stormy sky and making it all the way up there. Well, save for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teva. <laughs> dad said that? Oh. Yep. And I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time for you to go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. Uh -huh. 
No problem. The two of us together have got this. <laughs> I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Heber Peak. Let's check there first. Oh? Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Haha! -ha! We have a party! And you know what? I just got the idea. Oh, Falcon Bow. Sweet. You know how in Skyrim, whenever there's a quest that involves you getting a, um, like a unique party member for the quest, but they allow you to keep your normal party member with you, your normal companion? I guess not Skyrim, just Bethesda in general. I don't know for certain if I'm only going to be able to, to equip one spirit, but I'm going to act like I am, and at the very least, the very least... We're probably not going to be able to... Yeah, I mean, we obviously won't be able to hold on to actual Teba. We'll get a spirit of him by the end of this. So, I kind of feel like I should just explore with real Teba and, and map out this entire area and, you know, fully, fully explore it. I think that'd be neat. And it would... Considering that we're already heading to the dungeon and it feels... It kind of felt like there was more preamble with Riju than there is with... With, um... With... What's his face? Uh, child? Uh... Tulin, maybe we get to know him a little bit by, you know, having having some actual non non required adventures. So I think that's what we'll do. I'm gonna make this the end of my recording session. Trying to keep it a little bit shorter, just both because I've had the, some errors with uh, with my Elgato uh, making video choppy, and I want to make sure I catch that as as soon as possible and try to troubleshoot that. But also to give you guys more room since we're February's behind us. I have more time to record, more time on the weekends to edit, uh, and so it makes it makes more sense for me to uh, have shorter recording sessions, so your input can get to the session quicker. All right, I will see you next time where Tulin and I work on our teamwork and explore his homeland. See you guys then.